Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York and today for you guys I have a brand new video. Today we are doing a BoxyCharm Premium April 2020 unboxing. So make sure you guys stay tuned to see if this month's BoxyCharm Premium is worth your coin. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below what you think about this video and make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already and make sure you hit that post notification icon so you're notified every single time I drop a brand new video. Like 70% of you guys are subscribed so please 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 hit that subscribe button it really makes a huge difference and really shows me that you support me as well as likes and comments all those things really show that you guys support me and want me to keep making more videos but yeah let's get right into it you guys already know I do these every single month but yeah we got a really really big box this time so let's get out all the products so the first product I got in my April 2020 and my April premium boxy charm box is the pharmacy honey potion renewing antioxidant hydration mask the intensely hydrating facial mask is blended with honey propolis and royal jelly rich in amino acids to help revitalize and renew the look of dry skin the balm gently warms and transforms into a nourishing cream as it's massaged into the skin leaving a smooth glowing complexion and this is paraben free formaldehyde donor free synthetic fragrance free phthalate free mineral oil free and cruelty free as well and honestly i've never tried anything from pharmacy but i've heard a really lot of good things this does retail for 38 dollars from the brand itself and this is farmer cultivated scientists activated and their pharmacybeauty.com or at pharmacy beauty so this is what it looks like and it does come with this little metal spatula it's magnetic most skincare that's a little bit on the pricier side does come like this it is in a glass component which i really like and it lasts 12 months this is made in the usa oh new jersey so yeah i mean there's not much else to do i'll you guys already know for all the skincare i try to leave in a little review because i usually do it after anyways but this looks promising let's give it a little smell Oh my god, I got so scared. <laughs> I thought I dropped the glass and it's so heavy. No real smell, but I would definitely give it a try and let you guys know what I think. A hundred percent. You guys know I always do. But yeah, let's go to the next product. Next, we have a Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Rose Gold Retro. This is the long range sparkle eyeshadow combines the perfect mix of pearl and glitter to lavish eyes with incredible luster and shimmer. With its uniquely lightweight water infused texture, glitter and glow glides on effortlessly then dries down smoothly, locking in maximum sparkle, sparkle, sparkle with minimum fallout. And this retails for $30. Holy shit, that's expensive. I brought to my attention recently as well, because I do have, I think I have the same shade. Oh no, I have embellished. Do I have this shade? I actually don't have this shade, which is nice. I have embellished, which is pretty similar, I guess you can say. I do have these though, which I thought they were the full ones. Like in my mind, I was like, yeah, there's a full Stila eyeshadow because I got it from online. Apparently, they come in real full sizes. And I don't know if I said, but this retails for $30. I did. I did. That's super pricey. But um, yeah, that's super expensive. This is what the real one looks like. And this is the mini. <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean, it looks really, really, really beautiful. I, of course, love Stila's eyeshadows. Who doesn't? But we're going to swatch this for you guys. Oh, my God. Like I said, who doesn't love Stila's eyeshadows? Take a look at that. That's a beautiful rose gold. I'm definitely going to have to use that on one of these looks coming up. Beautiful shade. Literally have zero complaints. I love Stila's liquid eyeshadows. Great formula. Great payoff. 100% recommend you pick them up. Next, we have the Mayo High Club Volume and Lengthening Mascara from Wander Beauty. This retails for $26 and is in the shade Jet Black. This one swipe is all you need for sky-high lashes with this volumizing and lengthening mascara. Precise bristles grab and coat every lash for a flirty and fanned out effect while Jet Black pigment intensely saturates. Smudge proof, flick proof, and water resistance for all day wear. And this is the i believe the third mascara i've gotten from boxy charm if i'm not wrong the second or third mascara let's check out the doe foot the doe foot looks pretty nice it's a little clumpier than i prefer not the formula but the doe foot it's a little closer than i prefer but 100 percent. let's try this out grab a 
mirror. I just keep dropping everything today. <laughs> so I don't know if you could tell that I put the mascara on my eyes. It's not bad to say, but like, it's not doing anything for me. Like it's not really, I guess it's lengthening. I'm not gonna say it's not lengthening. Um, Volumizing, I don't really feel the volumizing happen nor see it happening. Um, but I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't hate it. The way I look at it, if this was the only mascara I had to use to get ready, I wouldn't be mad at it. Would I be like, wow, my lashes look, boom, no. <laughs> but, it's not bad. I think, I'm gonna give you guys the lowdown. For $26, sh she's overpriced. Would I ever go out and buy her? No, I just wouldn't. She's not worth $26, nor does she look like she's $26. Now, if I got it in my boxy charm, I wouldn't necessarily be mad. Like I said, it's a pretty okay mascara. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's a mascara. <laughs> now, is it the Bobby Brown mascara? No. <laughs> but two different things. So do what you can. Next, we have the Opulence Beauty Crystal Clear Three Piece Brush Collection, which retails for $40. A full-size ultra-soft cruelty-free crystal clear brush collection to create a flawless canvas for makeup. Effortlessly and flawlessly apply your favorite skincare, foundation, complexion products, highlighters, and powders. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Let's check out the brushes first, actually. I mean, they don't feel bad. They're a little loose, in my opinion. Like, actually a lot of loose. Okay, there's this hair that, like, just won't come out. So this is what the brush looks like right here. The only thing I don't like is the acrylic looks very old. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it. But this one says for powder. This looks like it could be for bl blush or maybe even contour or something like that. I wouldn't use it for contour, but for blush would be very nice. Even bronzer would be pretty nice. Um, It's not a brush I prefer. I'm gonna be very honest, you guys know I'm very picky with my brushes. Like, I think where I get the most picky is with my brushes. So it'd be really hard to use something like this. Um, do I hate it completely? No. Would I recommend it? No. Anyways, cop to Scott Barn brushes. <laughs> Let's see the next one. Next we have this bad boy, and this is a flat head. So this could be for buffering out uh, foundation i like that it's a little bit um compacted it would be a pretty nice blender out for foundation i'm not gonna lie it feels oh it feels like it would be pretty nice to blend out foundation feels pretty promising and last but not least we have the bullet brush and this one is probably for setting the under eye with powder that's what i would say it's for or even for highlighter too it could be used it's a little big for highlighter for my taste but yeah, there's a full base collection from BoxyCharm. You get this in your premium box if you did subscribe. Like I said, I'm not too much of a big brush person from these brands that BoxyCharm really includes. Are they the worst brushes? No. Are um are they, in my opinion, compete with my brushes in any shape or form? No. <laughs> Next, we have the Levito Inspired by Nature Grapefruit Seed Melissa and Avocado Age Away Replenishing Cream. This is firm hydrate repair for dry and mature skin made with 11 innovative organic plant actives this anti-aging solution is clinically proven to diminish the appearance of dryness wrinkles rough texture while it deeply moisturizes mature skin this retails for 65 dollars and this is no mineral oils no petroleum no silicones no propylene glycol no parabens no animal testing no synthetic dyes no synthetic alcohol no phenol oxy ethanol no pegs no sls's yes herbally effective yes organic ingredients yes recyclable yes essential oils Ooh. they had me everywhere until essential oil as a person who suffers from dry skin essential oils can be very 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 drying when you start introducing them into the face so i don't know how i feel about essential oils being in the product i will look at the ingredients to see if i can figure out which essential oil it is but i'm gonna keep going yes cold press oils yes vegan friendly yes gluten free and yes cruelty free i don't know what vegan friendly means they can just say yes that they are vegan and let's see what else they have 
And this says that it's enriched with avocado and Melissa organic oils significantly decrease wrinkle depth and boost hydration and firmness. Hydrolonic acid plumps skin and improves moisture retention, while summer snowflake flower and grapeseed extract help smooth wrinkles. Formulate, formulated for daily use. And I'm just going to look at the ingredients. So it does have fragrance, which is another concern for something that's going to go on your face um, to say. It does say it's 100% natural, which I don't know exactly what that means. For example, um, rose water fragrance is very natural as they use rose. However, that's again, not the best fragrance to have on your face. And it does also use rosemary oil extract which again scares me just a little bit it does use a good amount of essential oils they do say from natural again i don't know what that means this is becoming controversial for once in product <laughs> what's funny is it's not even gonna get reviewed right now that's the funny part ah this is what it looks like it's pretty cute the little packaging i'm gonna give it a smell it smells like cream even though it has a seal on it Two beauty skin, beauty skin, two skin care things in the box. So I'll let you guys know what I think about all of them. Last but not least, we have a Nude Sticks Magnetic Plush Paint in the shade Wakiki Rose, where luxury K-beauty and multitasking color meets longwear performance. Magnetic Lip Plush Paint is feather light with a blurring matte velvety texture that is non-drying and long wearing. Of course, we're going to try this out because that is simple. Wakiki Rose. <laughs> yeah, when it said K-Beauty, I was like, Korean Beauty? Because <laughs> this shit is pale. <laughs> this is funny, though. Look, ready? Look, look. <laughs> ready? I'm going to dip it. And then look at all this color when I put it on. Mm -hmm. You see all that concentrate? Watch now. Mm? Mm? Mm -mm. All that color? Watch. Mm -mm. I don't per se hate it, but <laughs> if you've been watching my channel, <laughs> I'm a little bit different than the K-Beauty. <laughs> K-Beauty is off for that natural approach. <laughs> That's not really what my channel goes for, but I do like it. I'm not, I don't hate it. I think it's a really nice color. I wish it was um a little bit more drying. It's very loose on the lips and it kind of just moves around. It's more like a a pigmented lip gloss, I would like to call it. Yeah, I would refer to it as a pigmented lip gloss, honestly. That's like more than name for me for it. Like, it's in the name, Nude Sticks. It doesn't look like I'm wearing anything. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you guys already know I like most of the boxy charms. I'm not gonna lie, this is not my favorite boxy charm. There's a lot of standout things that could have made it my boxy, my favorite boxy charm. Like, it really could have gone from like, boom. Um, first up. The Levito thing. Uh, this, I still have to try it out. Um, it's a little egg because it has a lot of products that I'm not too comfortable with putting on my face. A lot of things that I try to stray away from. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to completely try it. I'm not just going to throw it out, you know, because I did already pay for it. So might as well give it a run. Yo, this freaking hair just, just is fucking with me today. You see that hair strand? He hates me. He won't go like up. I like push him up and he like goes back down. I need a haircut so bad. <laughs> Next, we have the Pharmacy Honey Potion. This is really where it like went up for me. I've seen this a lot of times in Sephora and it's called my name, of course, but this shit pricey. And the fact that it's in this box makes me really excited to give this a try. And you guys know I love making things part of my daily skin routine, especially if they're really good. So I'm definitely going to make sure that check this out. Um, if you guys saw my last video, uh, I did say that the calming hydration juice was really, really nice from Elmis. If you guys did get that in your boxy charm, I have incorporated that. It's really nice. It has avocado as well, which is a superfood. So it's really moisturizing and avocado oil is very moisturizing as well. So I would highly recommend you guys try that if you guys suffer from dry skin like me. Next, we have the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club. Mile High Club. Mile High Club Volume and Lengthening Mascara. Like I said, I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. If I had to go with it and just go out, I wouldn't be mad. Next, we have the Stila. Stila Rose Gold Retro Eyeshadow Glitter. And this is stunning. You already know. Stunning as usual. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And Stila does not play with these liquid eyeshadows. And of course, we also have the Nude Stick in the shade Wakiki Rose. 
Again, a very nude, very Korean beauty-like. And last but not least, we got the Opulent Beauty Clear Brushes. And honestly, all in all, I'm going to say that this was not my favorite boxy charm. <laughs> I mean, I'm here to tell you guys the truth. I'm a little underwhelmed. Um, I don't really care for the brushes. The nude stick is too <laughs> nude for myself. <laughs> and the mascara isn't a crazy contender. And the Levito face stuff has me a little scared. So our best friend Stila and Pharmacy here are our best friends for epoxy charm. <laughs> um besides that, there's not much else to say. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Boxy Charm Unboxing. Make sure you guys leave a like down below and don't forget to leave a comment what you guys think I should do next or what you would like to see next as well. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, um, Twitter, TikTok, -y, all those different social medias. They'll all be at the end screen. And make sure you guys check out the other podcast, my podcast. There's a brand new every episode every single week as you're watching this right now there should be a brand new episode so make sure you guys check that out the link will be in the description down below but yeah catch you guys in the next one peace hey what is up you guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is josh and i'm a makeup artist from new york and today for you guys i have a brand new video today we are doing a full face of a bobby brown makeup and Today, I have for you guys four products, just like the Marc Jacobs products as well. So if you guys want to know what I think about this brand and their products, make sure to keep on watching. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below what you think about this video. And make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already. And make sure you guys hit that post notification icon so you're notified every single time I drop a brand new video like this. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first, for all from Bobbi Brown, I picked up the Vitamin Enriched Face Base, and this is a all-in-one primer and moisturizer. Box looks, wait, the box looks like this. <laughs> and it just, if I could figure out how to open it. This retails for $60, I believe. And this is what the component looks like from Bobbi Brown, of course. Course. I've heard a lot a lot a lot of good things about this so I've been meaning to pick this up for a long time coming now it does have the Bobbi Brown embossed on the top and it does last 24 months which is really nice especially something that expensive should last like a really long time but we're gonna go in with this today you don't need much you just need a little uh, like they say a dabble do ya <laughs> so we're just gonna take a little bit on my pinky and we're just going to prime with this. Oh, oh my God, it feels so nice. First of all, it feels amazing on the skin like it melts into your skin 